Uh, we are headed uh, towards two caves and we are going to be doing a, a, a test using the X6 Pro and this test and uh, video is for educational basis uh, after we finish doing the test we will be uh, analyzing uh, the, what we see and uh, one of the purposes and most important purposes of this test is to teach people what to do and what not to do when you have to test. Is this the land history promised? Here, within these lines. On this concrete court. This patch of turf. Here, you're defined by your actions. Not your looks or beliefs. Equality should have no boundaries. The bonds we find here should run past these lines. It's been a long, long time coming. Opportunity should not discriminate. The ball should bounce the same for everyone. Worth should outshine color. If we can be equals here, we can be equals everywhere. As I said before, uh, this is an educational video. And uh, the main purpose of this video is to show our clients the correct way of taking a scan. Once we do the scan, we will show you the results as part of this video. And uh, so you can see, we're headed towards two caves that we already know they're there. Uh, this is not a target looking, uh, we're not looking for a target, this is for education. It is extremely critical that you follow, follow certain rules when doing a scan to get the best results for yourself. We will show you how to hold the probe correctly, how far it must be from your body and how high it must be from the ground. You have to follow absolute rules in how we do the scan. For instance, we noticed from some of our clients that they just go to an area and they throw their grid down on the floor and they just start scanning. And I asked them, what happened to the rule that says north to south? You always have to have north to your back, south to your face. I saw another client who did that, but he started to take the scan from the right hand side to the left hand side. The rule is you start from the left and then you go all the way to right to the right to finish your scan. These are two rules that you cannot break. I saw another client of ours make the probe and he's putting it so close to his body like that and he is by his own feet. That is also wrong. You must extend your arm and you must lift the end of the probe at least 50 centimeters above the ground before you start scanning. Another rule which I've, uh, you know, I've noticed with, with, with some of our uh, clients is they have their phones in their pockets and they have their wallets in their pockets, and they have cigarettes, and they have their lighters in their pockets. And I said, you have to free yourself from the metal on your body. And one of them had shoes that had metal on it. How can you get an accurate uh, uh, scan when you have metal on your body? You're trying to look for metal, yet you're carrying metal with you. That, that's a no-no. 
So right now we're gonna go and we're gonna do it correctly and we're gonna sh show you what to do and what not to do. Thank you. Kita punya kerja cuma sendiri. Nanti kita serah. Kau lepas. Kau lepas. Ke mesa. Kali kabel itu panu. Kau lepas. Kau lepas. Kau tikus itu sini. Kau lepas. Kau lepas. Nere. 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 Kita. Opo saya juga lepas. Kita. Opo saya juga lepas. Lari. Opo saya juga lepas. Kita itu sini mewah juga lepas. Kita kira. Ikut ni. Underneath this rock, there's a grave. Mm -hmm. They've never opened it, so this is new. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, very good. I like that. We'll discover what's down there. Maybe there is something. Uh, this is Mr. Mike Rakis, the nice CEO of EU Detect Force uh, and owner of the company and the factory. And we are here because we are, uh, we received a piece of information that there could be a cavity under this particular rock. So he is going to personally demonstrate the uh, X6 Raptor and how it is used in locating the, uh, the cavity. You can start. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome. First of all, we put uh, the device uh, to the ground. Yes, uh, the first step is to uh, put the, uh, we turn the device on, we set it on the option of cavity, then we lay it on the ground and as close as to where we think the cavity is, mm -hmm. uh, so it will uh, sink itself with the ground and do a ground balance. So right now the system is on the ground right down there and it is getting ground balance. We usually wait for about four to five minutes and then he will pick it up and start using it and we will see how he is going to do that. This is a true uh, radar system and it is recommended that uh, we do not use it for more than half an hour per day uh, and in not so hot temperatures uh, the temperature must be under 33 degrees centigrade after now show us the distance yes from here to there is the as it moves the raptor and you saw how it moved. We must wait because the system of the rubber uh, wants uh, a few seconds okay. to be sure about the target. Okay? okay. Okay. This is the first uh, yes. The first point. Yes. Got uh, it. Who now? We still not be sure about the target. Okay. okay. We must wait to finish first some test. Uh, I have the antennas uh, to my breast. Yes. Because I don't want to do the circle. Uh, yes. Okay. And now I'm walking. I'm paying for a bit here. One more step. I go one more step. That's a big cavity. Okay. Yeah. Now, now it opened up. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Okay, that's point number two. I'm not sure. We'll see. Wait. I'm going now from the other. Okay? Yes, sir. I make the same.
That's correct. That is correct. Now I will go from this side. حددناها من جهتين والان بدنا نحددها من الجهات الاخرى From this way, there is another target. I think so too. It, there must be a second target here, and we we're catching the direction of it from over here. Okay. We're gonna concentrate on this one, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Correct. We have the cavity. Yes, we do. You can uh, start the scan. Uh, yes. Now we are going to put the grid down. And we're going to start using our X6 Pro ground radar uh, to confirm everything that uh, the Raptor gave us. And we always confirm with the ground radars, always. The Raptor is a preliminary test and the confirmation is always with the radar. All right. Now we're gonna get ready to do a scan. So <coughs> we program everything and we, that is another video and we will show you. We have our grid down right now. And I watched some of my clients the other day when I did this with them. And the first thing I noticed is after they did this, turned the machine on and everything, they ran over here and start telling it started boom 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 I said stop 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 what are you what are you doing we always start from the left now second point when they started one of them he went like that And that is not to do. That is wrong. The way you do it is you do it like that. This is the way to do it, right? This way. Your hand extended away from your body with 50 centimeters above the ground. This is the distance we want right here. That's how it's done. You go one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then you go like that. One, two, three. Your hand is always extended. Not like this, like this. That is extremely important. North to south, no metals on you. The best of your, if you have to wear your glasses, wear your glasses, that's okay. But other than that, telephones, keys, money, uh, your shoes must not have 
any metals in it because it's very close to the scanning. Otherwise, you're just taking scans of your shoes. That's about it. So, if there are people around you with cellular phones, they have to set them to fly mode or turn them off all the way. They can wait 15, 20 minutes to use their phones. Just tell them to please shut their phones down and that is the best thing to do. Shut your phones down. Everybody, even if people are watching you, they should shut their phones down because the signal from the cellular phones is going to affect. Uh, this is a sender and a receiver system. It, is, uh, it, it will be uh, subject to interference from other sending and receiving systems that are around you. Thank you. Kita pun ikut masa ni. Nanti kita sedar. Kalau ni, boleh pis. Ke mesa? Kali kabel itu panik. Kau pasang korupsi. Kau tiko sedih na. Boleh pis. Boleh pis. Nere, ne, 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 ne. Kita. Opo saya buat lagi ya. Opo saya buat lagi. Opo saya buat lagi. Kita tu semua buat lagi. Kita pun ikut masa ni, nanti kita sedar. Kalau ni, boleh pis. Ke mesa, kalau kabel itu panik. Kita pun ikut masa ni. Kau tiko sedih na. Boleh pis. Nere, ne, 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 ne. Kita. Opo saya buat lagi. Opo saya buat lagi. Opo saya buat lagi. Kita tu semua buat lagi. Kita ikut ni kita. There's fish there too. Yeah. See the fish? Yeah. Do one else. Go by the He's crazy. But I love him. Is this the land history promised? Here, within these lines. On this concrete court. This patch of turf. Here, you're defined by your actions. Not your looks or beliefs. Equality should have no boundaries. The bonds we find here should run past these lines. Opportunity should not discriminate. The ball should bounce the same for everyone. Worth should outshine color. If we can be equals here, we can be equals everywhere.